my name is Kelly and I have a short Patreon tutorial on how to set your messaging preferences on your account for your Koha OPAC. If your library is using Koha, which I hope as you watch this tutorial that's what they are using, I'm going to show you how to set your messaging preferences. And what I mean by that is the ability to determine which notices get sent to you um, from your library. Now, with most of our patron tutorial videos, um, we do want to say that this does depend on what your library will allow you and what they've chosen to utilize in the Koha system. So this is if a patron is allowed to do this on their public library OPAC. So let me actually first log out. So as you're looking at your um, public um, catalog for your library. Everyone's public catalog will look different, which is the great thing is they are customized to, to appeal to the community it's in. Um, but this you can see there's a couple of key items. You'll see my Koha. You could have a library logo here. But you, you will usually have one or two places to log in. Up here at the top right hand um, area or there's going to be another login box or there could be both. So once I log into my account, I'm automatically brought to what's known as the account summary page. I can see checkouts, overdues, if I have any fines, and holds. But what I want to focus your attention on is right over on the left, we have your um, messaging right here, almost close to the bottom. So it says your messaging. So this will allow me to say, um, it will show me first what notices I am currently subscribed to be getting from my library and what other ones I could potentially um, get from my library. So I have an item due notice and that can be sent at my library through an SMS, so at my cell phone, um, an email and digest only. So. I have it set for email and digest only, which means it will just send me a group of um, items at a time. It won't send me one individual item at a time. So the day it is due, I will get an email in digest form. I'm also subscribed to an advance due notice, which it says it's two days in advance that I'm also getting that as an email and digest only. There are a few more hold filled item check-in and item check-out that I subscribe to. I think that I generally would want an email um, that would be sent to me saying that my hold is available for pickup. So that's what that hold filled um, message would be. Then I have item check-in and item check-out. So I could get an email saying all the items that I've checked in um, and also all the items that I've checked out. I also have some do not notify to say, Nope, I don't actually want to get these notices. Now, if your library does have the ability for SMS messaging um, and you wanted to utilize that, you can add your um, cell number and then choose the provider that you have with your cell um, cellular phone. If you are using a provider that is not listed on your library catalog, then you should probably give a call to your library and let them know because we just need to add some information here to add another provider. So there may be more in your area. Then you go ahead and submit those changes. So this is how you're going to go ahead and, and change and adjust your messaging preferences on your account in Koha. Thank you for watching. This has been a tutorial by Bywater Solutions.